of you have been having problems with your compilation. You've been at the compilation and you've gotten it stuck to 83% and your EDA netlist writer has gotten to 99%. Then you've just been waiting. You've been sitting and sitting and waiting for it. So uh, we need to move on and we need to do something differently. We're going to first start out by pressing the stop button to stop our processing. We'll say yes, we do want to stop our current process. And then let's just take a look at the files that are associated with the simulation. Uh, what's happening is this compilation has begun to run, but then it got hung on the simulation point. Let's just take a look at the mydetectortest.vt. If I open that up, this is actually some Verilog code that we have here. And notice the name of the module for the test bench is called My Detector Test. And so that's actually the name that we're going to use. Uh, once we've stopped our um, processing of our compilation, let's come up here to Assignments and go to Settings. Okay. With settings, we're going to do several things. First of all, we have to turn off this run gate level simulation automatically after compilation. This, having checked it um, when we initialized the project, uh, is actually what's causing us to hang. There's a path error in, in version 15.1. So we want to turn that off. And then let's also go ahead and set this format for output uh, netlist to actually VHDL. Um, our test bench is in Verilog, but let's set that to VHDL. That seems to have helped several students with some other errors. <clears throat> so we're going to try that. You want to then come down here to these native link settings. Yours may be set to none, uh, but you want it to be set to compile test bench. Um, I actually already have a test bench. You may need to create one. If you need to create one, you can go ahead and click on test benches, and then <clears throat> you're going to go ahead and say new. So I will say new. And I'm going to type in a name here. Um, I'll just call it my <clears throat> detector test. And then you want to make sure that the top level module has the same name that we just looked at in our um, my detector test.vt. And I, I have tried to name all of the names of the files for each of the labs the same as the module name. So for this particular lab, my detector test is the top level module. So make sure that that matches this here, which you can see it does. Mm. Um, you could change the name of the test bench, or you can just make those the same. You saw that actually wrote in here, whatever you typed into the test bench name at the top. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to come down here to file name, and we're going to look for that .vt file. So here we have my detector test.vt. If you don't have that in your listings, you've either put it in a different folder or you haven't downloaded it yet from the Google pages. This is one of the files that you've downloaded with the zip files. So click that and that's going to be uh, the name of our file for our test bench. So we'll add that. <clears throat> you can see now that we actually have a, a test bench listed. Okay, and we'll say okay. All right. Um, I actually have two. I'm going to go ahead and delete this first one. And then the one that I've just added is right here. So I have my detector test. It's uh, added to my test benches. And I'll say OK. And then you can see it's here under the compiled test bench. And there it is. Make certain also that you have, have this checked for use script to set up simulation. If you don't have that, go ahead and check it. And then click on this button to find the mydetectortest.do file. So you want your .do file. You can go ahead and click on that <clears throat> to add that to your uh, script. That is your script that's going to tell actually what to do. So we'll apply that and we'll say OK. <clears throat> and we can uh, close. We don't need that window open. We don't need to do file open. We don't need any of those open. OK. And so now we're ready to go ahead and compile our files uh, for the .bdf file. So we'll go ahead and we'll come back here. I'm going to go ahead and save all. So uh, you can use either Control shift s or you can just come and click on Save All. And so now I will recompile. <clears throat> okay, once that's finished running, then we can go ahead and we can start our simulation. You can see that we've reached um, 100%. We have all checks and we actually have a message down at the bottom that tells us that the uh, full compilation was successful. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, so then we can go ahead and uh, run the tools. So you can come to Tools and run Simulation Tool and choose Gate Level Simulation. If you happen 
to get the rerun EDA netlist writer, then you need to make one more change. Say OK. And then come over here to your EDA netlist writer. Click Edit Settings. And then you're going to come to Simulation. You're going to click on More EDA Netlist Writer Settings. And you're going to look for this Generate Netlist for Functional Simulation Only. And so you're going to uh, make sure that that is on. If it's not, then go ahead and just uh, change that to on. If you just want to run a functional simulation, say OK, apply, and OK. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and rerun the Netlist Writer one more time. shouldn't take very long. And once that's successful, come up here to Tools, run uh, Simulation Tools, and choose Gate Level Simulation. Some of you are having a problem that model sim begins to start, but then it hangs in the middle and you don't get the waveform. What you need to check then is the path that you have for your files. All of the names within your folders must be um, an entire name. You can have underscores, but you cannot have a space. Check your file names to make sure that you don't have any spaces. So if you do, you can go ahead and put underscores in, and then you'll have to start model sim again.